Hi everybody, welcome back to another weekly craft video. My name's Tori, I'm your Makerspace Librarian, and I'm here in the Whitewater Public Library's Makerspace. The library offers a new take and make craft kit every week. Just stop by the library, grab your kit, and follow along with the craft video. You can find these videos posted to our Facebook page and YouTube channel. Visit us at whitewaterlibrary.org for links to our social media pages, updated library hours, and information about upcoming library programs and events. This week, we have a special craft for all ages. As a city, we are going to be celebrating Arbor Day and World Migratory Bird Day. Look for the event on our Facebook page. It's called The Birds and the Trees. And in that event, you're gonna be able to see all the different activities that we have going on throughout the city that you will be able to participate in. So in celebration of Arbor Day, our craft this week is going to be this paper quilling tree. So paper quilling is the art of rolling and shaping paper, paper strips into different shapes to create different works of art. So we are going to be making a beautiful tree um, using the paper quilling technique and your tree doesn't have to look like mine this is just how mine turned out you can definitely get creative you don't even have to use this printout tree you could draw your own on a different surface um, so feel free to get creative with this craft these craft kits are going to be available for pickup April 26th through May 1st so stop by the library grab your kit and don't forget to share your um, completed projects with us on social media or by email. We love to see how they turn out. So in your craft kit this week, you're going to get a printout of a bare tree, some strips of paper, different colors, and a special quilling tool. At home, you're going to need some glue. I really think that any type of glue should work um, and you're gonna wanna grab some scissors as well. So here we have our tree printout that's going to come in your craft kit. It's printed on thicker paper so that you can use it to create your work of art. Now, you don't have to use this. You're more than welcome to sketch out your own um, tree design. Maybe you want to do this onto a canvas or a poster board that you have at home. It's totally up to you. I'm just including this because I believe that it's easy for beginners um, to use this outline to create your tree shape. I just made these strips myself by cutting pieces of paper into quarter inch strips. So you can certainly do that at home as well if you have different color paper that you wanna use um, or if you want to go beyond this project, learn more and take on um, more detailed projects. Um, another fun way that I think you could use this is um, with magazines or recycled paper or materials. You could definitely cut those up and use those um, to do your quilling projects and I think that would make a really neat um, recycled project. Quilling is a beautiful and intricate art form. There are so many different designs, shapes, and techniques that you can learn when doing this sort of artwork. So I'm just going to go over a few basic shapes that you might want to use for your tree project. Okay, so on your quilling tool there's just a little slit a little opening in the metal tip and you want to take your strip of paper and insert the end into that little opening there and then you just want to start to twist and you want to use your fingers to keep uh, your coil as even as possible if you don't it can kind of start to become uneven and create this tornado sort of shape but just use your fingers so that it rolls up evenly. Just like that. And then when you get to the end, you wanna grab your glue, hold on to it with one hand and grab your glue and less is more during this part of the process. Less glue is more because you only need a little bit to complete your shape. 
and then you can remove it from your tool and there you have a tight coil shape. So let's go on and create another shape. Now we're going to create a looser coil, a loose coil. So we can begin rolling. It's the same process. Just roll up your piece of paper, keeping it as even as possible. Just use your fingers. Now, once we get to the end, you can remove it from the tool and sort of allow it to uncoil so that it creates this looser shape. It's a nice loose coil shape. And when you like the size, just apply a little bit of glue and roll it up like that. So we have here our tight coil and now our loose coil as well. Next we'll make a marquee shape. So the process starts in the same way. I'm going to remove it from the tool and loosen it up a little bit. And now to create a marquee shape, I'm going to pinch. I want to center um, the center of my coil in the middle of the shape there. And I'm just going to pinch both sides. And it creates this nice little kind of diamond shape there. Just like that. Next, I'll make a teardrop shape. A teardrop shape is really nice for the leaves if you want to use um, this shape to create the leaves of your tree. So for the teardrop, I'm just going to pinch one of the sides instead of both so that the center coil kind of goes off to one side and it creates this little teardrop shape, just like that. You can also make a smaller shape by cutting your strip in half and just working with a little bit of paper. And pinch one side and I get a small teardrop. If you want to create a bigger shape, you can make a longer strip of paper by gluing two strips together. I'm gonna set that aside for a moment to dry. Roll it up. Now I have a larger marquee shape here compared to this one that I made with just one strip of paper. In this one I glued two strips of paper together to make one long strip and I get this larger shape here. There are so many different shapes, sizes, designs, ways to roll your paper. So feel free to look online to get a little bit more inspiration. So go ahead and look at your tree, think about your design, what you want to do, and then start brainstorming and thinking about what kind of shapes you might need to make to complete your work of art. For my tree project, I decided that I want to use both loose coils and tight coils to create the leaves on my tree. Your project doesn't have to look like mine, Feel free to get creative and make your own unique work of art.
you will need quite a few completed um, rolled papers to finish off your tree. So sit back, put on your favorite TV show, listen to an audiobook, and roll up a whole bunch of shapes so that you have them all ready when you're ready to start gluing onto your paper. So I found that the easiest way to do this is to just choose a section, like right here I chose this branch. Um, next, let me see, maybe I'll do um, this branch here. So I, I like to choose the section and then this is the part where you want to be a little bit more generous with the glue. I just like to put glue all over the area where I'm going to put my paper. Um, because these are a little bit heavier and you want to make sure that they stay on and don't fall off. So I'll just choose a section here and kind of go over the entire thing with some glue. And if I need to add more glue, I'll add more. And I do want to cover up the, the brown of the branches pretty well. So I'm just going to start off with that little piece here and just randomly start applying my paper pieces. And here is the finished product. I think it looks really good. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I like how you can sort of see the bones of the tree through the rolled paper. Um, you know, I'm not exactly sure how many I ended up using in this project, but I'm guessing that it's close to 300. So you definitely want to maybe take some time to roll your paper before you start gluing. It takes a little bit of time, but I, I really think the effect is really cool. And yours certainly does not have to look like mine. You can spread them out more, you can do smaller clusters, you can use different shapes, larger shapes. Um, so it's really up to you. Uh, I really think I wanna display this piece in my home, um, but I want it to be a little bit more durable because I feel like if this gets bent, I risk the rolled paper kind of popping off the paper. Let me flip it over here. And you can really see how the glue has sort of um, wrinkled and warped the paper on the back. So I actually cut this piece of cardboard to the same size as my paper, and I want to secure it on there so that it's a little bit more durable, a little bit, um, maybe it will stand on its own a little bit better, um, but I don't want to use glue because I don't want this um, same effect that the glue created on the back here to be showing on the front of my project. So I'm going to use some double-sided tape to secure this paper to my piece of cardboard so that I have something that I can easily display in my home. 